Scotland is particularly known for a lot of things to many people, including its rich varieties of whiskey, greener nature compared to the rest of the UK, its unique islands and ancient museums. Today, let's head over to the Gallery of Modern Art, GOMA, one of Scotland's top museums in the art of Glasgow. Hi guys, it's yours truly again and as always, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be virtually taking you through incredible paintings as well as a lot of ancient and modern artworks from the gallery. If you're an engineering student coming over to the University of Strathclyde this coming session, the building to my right is the James Weir building and that's where your faculty would most likely be situated. To my left here is the popular Rotten Row Gardens where you can always chill out and have a nice picnic on campus. I promise to do a comprehensive video tour of the University of Strathclyde in the coming weeks which I'm going to upload on my YouTube channel. The more reason why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already done so. Just to give you a bit of background, the Gallery of Modern Art was opened in 1996 in the Art of Glasgow city centre. It was actually built in 1778 but was bought over in 1817 by the Royal Bank of Scotland, who later moved the operations to Buckingham Street. In 1954, Glasgow District Libraries moved the Stirling's Library into the building. When the library later returned to Miller Street, the building was then refurbished to house the city's contemporary art collection which we now have. The building contains four galleries, a library, a gallery shop selling a range inspired by the art collections, plus a cafe serving barista style coffee, light lunches and sweet treats. Apart from the fact that entering into the gallery was free, which is not something you will get in every part of the world when visiting a museum, I really love the fact that Gallery 1, which is on the ground floor, 
was solely dedicated to the art collections of black people. Which starts to become interesting, especially when you compare what we have now with previous UK's history on the subject of racism. Another thing I love about the museum is the fact that you can actually see that there is an easy blend of ancient and modern times. When you visit the museum, from the artworks to the museum building itself, you have an idea of how things were done in ancient times. As a lover of art, it was really interesting and inspiring visiting the museum, particularly seeing various artworks and the thought process that really went into producing them. One major thing I took home with me is the fact that we need to preserve our heritage for the unborn generation, which is not something that is so prevalent in Africa. Yes, we might not live forever, but we can give people who were not around during our time the opportunity to have a feel of what it meant living in such a complex world as ours learning about our rich history 
and helping them see what their roles are in preserving our culture and traditions. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed touring the Gallery of Modern Art with me. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video.